Hello, recently for some personal documentation, I had to do PDF manipulations, which included compression, merging, and subset. Subset in the sense that I had to take few pages out of the entire PDF booklet. Now, what was my lessons learned during the process? I'm going to share that. And what is the process I followed? That also I'm going to share that in this video. Let's get started. So I tried multiple tools for PDF compression. The best tool and the best compression which I could get was from something called as a ghost script. Now uh, I'll show you the process and how can we leverage ghost script to do the compression of the PDF. First thing is download and install. These details would be there in the description how you have to download. For Windows there is a page from where you can download and install. And after installation you have to have the path set so that in the environment variable this path is available and you can directly call gs gs is the bin file which we want to run if you don't want to set the path then you can go to this folder and run gs there uh, from this folder as well gs stands for ghost script in the mac you can use the brew and install the ghost script in ubuntu you can do apt install and install the ghost script once this installation is done quickly check the version and this version check is helpful to ascertain whether the installation has been successful or not. This is the command which we have to write and the most important section of this command is this, the PDF setting. This is the most important section of this whole command and there are different options which are there and this is the, the lowest resolution is the screen. Then you have the ebook, printer, prepress and default. And based on your compression need, you can select either one of these options here. You can remove this and place this option here and uh, your PDF would be compressed. This is the output file and this is the input file. Okay, the detailed list of options are given here. I'll not read it, but I'll you can you can pause the video and see what all detail options are there. So the details which I just described are there in this page and all the details are here. You can just copy the command from this uh, here. You can copy and run in on your machine after modifying the name of the output and input file. So I'm in the folder where my, my files are present. Let me do a listing. And I can see that the biggest file which is a PDF is this 95 MB file. And let me use the compression here the command which I copied from there and instead of input I'll say result.pdf okay and I have selected a ebook here for the lowest thing I can say screen instead of saying ebook I would be saying screen and this shall take some time I'll pause this because it has 563 pages and uh, to compress it it will take some time the compression is done this is a big file and I got some warnings also, but I'm going to ignore those warnings and you can see the output file now is a 7.3 MB file input file was 95 MB file. Let's compare the two files. Let me open the two files and we will see the comparison now. So this is the original file without compression and this output.pdf is after compression. You can see the number of pages are just the same. Only thing is the images have become little bit pixelated but the content is as is and you are able to see that I am able to achieve such a big compression. The second thing which I'll show you is the subset. Subset is like if in case I want to have a subset of pages from a given PDF file, I want to select few pages, not the complete page set. So how can I do that? So this is the thing which you have to use. And what you have to do here is you have to give the pages, you have to give the input file name and you have to give the pages which you have to extract. So zero is the first page. So I am extracting first seven pages and then I call it the original file underscore subset dot PDF. So now let me run this command. So this is the subset which is created and it shall have the first eight pages because I have selected zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it has first eight, eight pages. Now, if in case you have to merge these files, meaning from these files, you have to create one file. How can you do that? So what I'll do is I will first show you the code and then I will execute the code. So this is the code. So what I do here is I list all the files which are present in the directory 
with the extension .pdf. So everything which is a PDF would be selected and the name would be sorted. This sorting is important so that you are able to have the file in a order. The merging should be done in the order of the file name. So that's where the file name sorting is done. And finally, you will merge the file and you will create the result.pdf which would contain the result data. So these are the files which are there right now. If I run the merge PDFs right now, what it will do is it will go through all the PDF files which are in the current directory, these four files, and it will create one result.pdf which contains all the data which is merged. So let's see that. So I'm going to do merge. Okay, so this merge has been completed. If I do ls now, I will see a result file. So result.pdf. And if you see the data, it has all the data which was to be merged. Everything has been merged here. Remember for executing these commands, you have to have these libraries, like you have to do the pip install. I'm not going to do pip install here, but you may already know what is pip install, Python package manager installation of the libraries which are used here. You have to get those packages before you run these scripts to have these jobs done. Thank you very much.